Hello all, it's Melinda. Today I'm going to bring you another random Pinterest pick. And today is 197 in my sketches. And it is this sketch from Laurel Whitaker. And what made me happy about this one is that I actually had this in my drawer full of backgrounds that I necessarily I tried things. I have a whole stack of things. Some of them are uh, mixed media backgrounds. Some are stencil backgrounds. And some are just cut files that I tried out. And this is in there. I'm not even sure for how long I've had this. This is Tim Holtz uh, tissue paper. You buy it by the roll. And this is a stencil that I have from Studio Calico, one of my first stencils that I bought. And I was just trying things out. I believe I've created layouts with the same stencil since then, but this has just kind of stayed in there. And I thought that it would work great for this layout. I picked this photo. Now this is a photo that I've had in my printed pile for a while. It's kind of in my reject pile because of how dark it is. But I think it would work perfect for this because this layout is going to be about their relationship. I pulled some tissue paper. I'm going to try to keep this as monochromatic as possible-ish. <laughs> I've got a aqua background but I have a lot of black and white. The photo's black and white. And I pulled some things that I think will work. These are Pink Paisley Resist Hearts, a black label from the documentary line, a playing card, number 10, a tag, and a doily. And these for letter stickers by Pebbles. This is going to come together quite simply, very quickly, I think, because this is already done. And it's all a cluster here, some sprinkles, and a little bit up there. And I think I can get this done quite quickly. So I'm going to put you on fast forward so you can see this happen. I'm going to start by chopping the photo down. So I have a nice white border around it. Right, no rhyme, to re rhyme or reason of what, how wide I make it, just kind of whatever looks right. I have to trim off the manufacturer strip and then the extra tissue paper that didn't stay on the layout background on just two of the sides. Now I change my mind right here and decide my dog got into my tissue paper, can you tell? Took out a few chunks of it, but I really like this aqua. It's a little bit darker than the background, so it'll stand out, and I'm just gonna staple the stack of four together and use them as a stack. I have to trim that because it really has a crease in it and it won't fold out. And that's the only real layer I'm going to put behind the photo. Everything else I'm going to tuck in around it. So I'm going to pop the photo up so it gives it a little bit of height. And I'm going to use the score tape. And I'm going to pop up the bottom layer as well. I'm just going to dry fit these in so I can figure out what I want and where I want. I have to trim up the label. I know my little bit of journaling is going to go up at the top on the label. I just don't know how much is going to be needed. I'm going to lay these out. And 
decide where they all are going to stay. I have to get some wax paper so I can spell out years apart. Um, I'm going to use the playing card as the 10 and use that as part of the title. I just take these tile stickers and I overlap them and make them kind of go up and down. I first wanted to go that way, but then I decided that it would be too long, so I'm going to put them like that. Now I decided to take the back off and hope it attaches most things, but it would not catch the doily. So I'm going to tap the doily down. I decide I'm going to stick that there, but I need some foam to pick up that side because I put so much foam underneath the photo layer that it's flapping a little bit there. One more piece. I decide I want to sprinkle with plain Jane coal. Just here and there. Now, I did get some on the title, and I'm going to wipe that off as soon as I notice it. Give it a little baby wipe, and I just clean it off. It made it a little bit gray, but it'll work. That seemed to be sagging in the corner, so I put some more underneath there. I'm going to trade that out for a smaller heart. I dump my whole dish out. I'm going to shop that one around a little bit. And I'm going to take it off and stick it there, but it doesn't stay there. I decided I better figure out how much journaling I'm going to have so that I know how much space I need and what I can cut off. So I want the tag to go off the edge of the layout. So I'm just going to erase my pencil mark. Stick it on there and decide where the heart's going. And then trim that little bit off. I was hoping to be able to use that little bit somewhere, but it's too little. So I'm going to grab another label, the same label. I recently took all of my loose ephemera that I, I should say die cuts in ephemera, that wasn't still in kits. And I put them in color, so I have my black ephemera P or die cuts on my table right now, so I was pulling from that. I think I need something up there, but I don't like the fact that it's the same label. It makes it kind of look like there's a whole layer underneath there. So I'm going to shop some of these around a little bit. That would have been fine, but I thought it was too black. It was too stark. This is packaging from uh, Pink Paisley, and I absolutely love this. Uh, Heidi Swap does this too, this little diagonal stripe on the top of all of her things. And I absolutely love it. I save every piece of packaging because it is nice for layers. It just adds a little bit, and who doesn't like a diagonal stripe? I finally going to nix the beautiful. It was just too dark. But I pull a flower. That's too dark too. That says perfection. And it's just a little one. I believe those are from Bella Rouge. Not positive though. That is a little bit of butterfly. And that brings in silver. So I thought, well, guess what? I have a silver camera paper clip that I can put up there. And then I thought, well, I have this doily. And if I put it underneath the other white one, you just get a hint of the silver. 
so it doesn't blast you in the face with I'm gaudy silver. So I'm going to commit to everything. And I need a piece of foam. But I think it's missing something. So I'm going to pull out. I'll try and move that. I want something for the center of the camera. And I'm thinking that these candied hearts that I got from AliExpress will be the trick. I'll put a small one there. When While they're out, I might as well grab some more of the aqua ones and stick them here and there. I think this is my last package of them. I, I want to see if they have more. I love these things. And then I wonder if I need another one. So I shop it around. I think if I put another one up there, I end up just stacking it on top of that one so that heart is a little bit thicker than the rest. I'm going to go around and make sure all these little flappy things are down because I know when I put in a page protector they're going to give me a fit if they're not. I'm trying to be very light handed with the adhesive because it kind of shows through and I didn't really want that. I'm going to show you some slow close-ups. I'm actually in love with this layout. It went so fast, mainly because I had the background already done, granted, but it has quite an impact with the contrast of the photo against their faces and everything being just two colors, or three colors, I guess, with white. Four with the silver. I'm take to take that back, but it just it's striking to me so this is one of my favorite layouts in recently and it's just so simple i want to thank you for watching there are some still shots coming up after this one i'm having fun doing this so if you like this random pinterest pick please let me know in the comments um i absolutely love going getting through my pinterest boards and really using the things that i pin but let me know if you like this. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.